M5 Stack makes some really cool ESP32 based controllers. These gadgets have a lot of support, especially in the portable hacking community. I have a few of their products, like the M5 Stick C and the Card Pewter. Here I'm running the M5 Launcher on the Card Pewter. I already have a few programs loaded and it's really fun to just mess around with what I can find. This brings me to my main point. There's a few ways you can get programs on here and I'm going to show you three of one of them that I really like using mainly. First, you want to plug in your M5 device into your computer. Second, you want to install the M5 burner program which can be found on their website. M5 burner will help you download and install official and community written applications onto your device. This is a good way to explore what's out there, but keep in mind not everything plays well with your device. If you run into trouble, simply reflash the factory test code back onto your device. This is how it comes fresh out of the box. M5 Stack also provides a browser and desktop IDE. Here, I'm checking out the desktop IDE. I tried a lot of different troubleshooting options, but for whatever reason, I still couldn't get it to connect to my device. It didn't matter much to me, because I wasn't really interested in using Blocky or Python. Arduino IDE and the M5 stick library is where the real fun begins. First, you want to go to Preferences and add the M5 Stack Board Management URL into the Additional Board Manager URLs field. I've added the steps into the description. Next, you want to find your device in the Board Manager. I didn't show this, but you also want to install the right library from the Library Manager. Here I'm compiling a simple Hello World sketch. And it worked! I highly recommend checking out the M5 Stack GitHub and getting inspiration and checking out what methods to call and all that stuff. Here I'm making a buzzer program that I call Tiny Cricket. I should also add, if you think you bricked your device, just hold this button, plug it into your computer, and use the M5 burner program to reflash the factory test code. You should be good to go.